Hey guys, in today's top 10 video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the top 10 best dragons in how to train your dragon. Now, your list of dragons might be completely different from our list, so be sure to comment in the comment section below what you feel is the best dragons in the series. Ratings will be from 1 to 10, number 1 being the best. Now, let's start off this top 10 list with the 10th dragon, and that is the legendary Bone Napper. Now, the Bone Napper was thought to be a story made up by Gobber, but it was in fact a real dragon. The legendary Bone Napper was only Gobber's nemesis because it wanted a single bone from Gobber's collection to give it a perfect roar. And what happened there was that Gobber took one of his bones, which allowed him to roar. In ninth place, we have the Singe Tail. Now, the Singe Tail was in the Race to the Edge series of How to Train Your Dragon, used by Krogan as one of the main dragons, as well as his fleet. The Singe Tail is a territorial dragon that can blast fire out of its jaws, gills, and even tail. In eighth place, we have the Catastrophic Quake. The Catastrophic Quake can smash into ground and create huge shock waves that can knock dragons out of the air. This dragon resides in a place called Dark Deep, the legendary homeland of all Boulder Class dragons, living in a symbolic relationship with the Gronkles. When this dragon is threatened, he turns into protective mode and rolls into a ball-like giant armadillo and smashes the opponent. In 7th place, we have the Death Song. Death Song is a mystery class dragon that is featured in Dragon's Race to the Edge. It is regarded as one of the most deadly and most beautiful species of dragons, and it is a close relative of the Slither Song. This dragon uses his melody call to lure his targets into a dense jungle of Melody Island. There, as he watches, they search for the source of the song. He hits it with an ember attack, which paralyzes them. In 6th place, we have the Sentinel Dragon. The Sentinel Dragon is a Boulder Clash Dragon that appeared in Dragon's Race to the Edge Season 5. Although sightless, the Dragon can still keep a close watch over Dragon Graveyard on the Isles of Vanaheim. Often mistaken for stone statues, the Sentinel Dragon remains absolutely still when they allow ailing dragons to enter Vanaheim. But at first hint of an intruder, these Stone statue defends a sacred burial ground with a sonic screech and a downdrift wind blast. In fifth place, we have the Skrill. The Skrill is a strike class dragon that was first mentioned in How to Train Your Dragon numerous times in the Dragon Manual while Hiccup was young. One of the most mysterious and feared dragon species in the Book of Dragons, the Skrill is aggressive, powerful, and nearly untrainable. Skrills do not breathe fire, instead they channel lightning down their metallic spine, firing it from their mouth in a shower of destructive blasts. In fourth place, we have Cloud Jumper! Now Cloud Jumper is a storm cutter that appeared in the second movie How to Train Your Dragon 2. He is Vadka's dragon and shares a very strong bond that Hiccup admires. Cloud Jumper is the first dragon to have four wings in the How to Train Your Dragon series. He has been Vadka's companion of choice for flying and rescuing other dragons over the last 20 years. His pride, confidence, and large size lead him to believe that he is a top dragon in Vadka's mountain fortress and only second to the Bewildered Beast. In third place, we have the Triple Strike. The Triple Strike is a strike class dragon that has appeared in Dragon's Race to the Edge numerous times, and even Dagger has been able to train one. Vicious and aggressive are some of the words that describes the Triple Strike in battle, and its incredible fury it unleashes with its trio of braided tails. The Triple Strike makes the ideal champions in underground combat arenas with their barbed hides that deflect attacks, their intense fire blasts that blind opponents, and their tails that can be changed into a single powerful weapon. A triple strike wins about most of its battles. Sitting in second place, we have Toothless, the last Night Fury. The L Night Fury is a strike class dragon that is described as the unholy offspring of lightning and death itself. So far, the only known Night Furies in the franchise is Toothless. The Night Fury is also known as the fastest dragon. It is said to have reached speed that breaks sound barriers. The Night Furies are incredibly agile that are able to dodge 
flashes from dragons, arrows, and catapults, they also have a very quick reaction to opposing threats. On land, they are able to outrun and outmaneuver most other dragons and being able to jump to and leap from various objects like trees and walls. Sitting in first place at number one is the Light Fury. There is not much known about the Light Fury just yet other than the fact that she is going to probably be Toothless's love interest. The Light Fury looks similar to the Night Fury but is white, has blue eyes and has glittering glows that surround its body. This dragon is certainly one of the best dragons so far in How to Train Your Dragon.